welcome back to electrical point in my previous video i have explained how we can refer various drive parameters like moment of inertia and torque to the motor shaft and in today's video we are going to see a problem related to that concept so if you have not seen my previous video do go through that once before solving this problem now let us see the problem so we have a motor which is driving a winch drum it is something like this 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 is winch drum okay so we can wind the cable here like this now between the winch drum and the motor there is a gearbox with tooth ratio of 0 0.1 this i have explained in my previous video and the moment of inertia are given the moment of inertia of the motor is 0 0.5 kilogram meter square this this is the moment of inertia of the gearbox this is the moment of inertia of the winch drum and the load has an up and down motion so it can go downward or upward okay and it is weight is 500 kilogram now let us first find the equivalent moment of inertia of the system referred to the motor shaft now uh, the equivalent will be first we will write the moment of inertia of the motor which will be 0 0.5 okay now i have told that we have to write the all the moment of inertia of all the components which are directly connected to the motor shaft here you can see that the gearbox is direct, directly connected to the motor shaft there is no gear in between this gearbox and the motor so we have we, we have to write this 0 0.15 directly without using the gear ratio now for this moment of inertia you can see that this is connected through gear which is an tooth ratio of 0 0.1 so we have to write 1 into a square that is 0 0.1 square now now for this load we have to write the expression for linear motion okay so this its mass is 500 so phi m into v by omega m square now omega m is known this is given as 1500 rpm but we do not know the value of v the linear velocity of this load if you are not familiar with this expression please go through my previous video okay now we will find the velocity v so it has an 1500 rpm uh, uh, so first we will find omega m now omega m will be twice pi into n that is 1500 rpm divided by 60 so how do we get this expression this is 1500 revolutions per minute so it will undergo tw uh, twice pi radian in one revolution so total revolution will be twice pi into 1500 uh, radian and this is given in minutes so we have divided it by second to get the expression in radian per second this will be equal to okay 15 pi radian per second okay now this speed the speed of this winch drum will be this multiplied by the gear ratio that is uh, speed of the winch drum okay wd this will be 50 pi into 0 0.1 that is 5 pi now for this we uh, in the previous video i have told that uh, for uh, gear ratio a is equal to speed of the load side okay that is the uh, speed of the winds dam divided by the speed of the motor from this we are getting this now to get the linear velocity of this load v we know the relation that v is equal to omega times r now the omega is 5 pi radian per second and r is given as 0.2 meter the radius of this winds dam okay so the linear velocity will be uh, 5 pi into 0 0.2 that is pi meter per second if we substitute all this value here we will finally get that 0 0.5 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.01 plus 500 into v is pi and omega m is 50 pi this is the speed of this motor 
फिफ्टी फाइव होल स्क्वायर दिस विल कम आउट टू बी जिरो पॉइंट एट सिक्स किलोग्राम मीटर स्कोर दिस इज द इक्विभल मुमेन्ट अफ इनार्जिया अब दिस सिस्टेम रेफार टू द मटर शाफ्ट नाउ आई होप हाउ टू सल्व ए क्वेशन रिलेटेड टू मुमेन्ट अफ इनार्जिया इज क्लियर नाउ नाउ उल सी हाउ उ कैन गेट द इक्विभल टर्क एट द मटर शाफ्ट नाउ उल फाइंड द मटर टर्क ओके दिस मटर टर्क उल बेलेन्स अल द लोड टर्क डेट द सिस्टेम अफार्स सो फार्ष्ट हाफ इट उल बेलेन्स द फ्रिक्शन टर्क हुई सी सेट द मटर शाफ्ट हि सो उ कैन डायरेक्टली राइट डेट डेट इज टेन निटन मीटर नाउ द फिक्शन टर्क एट द हुईस उन्स शाफ्ट डेट इज हियर इट इज गिभेन एज फिफ्टीन बट उ कैन नट डायरेक्टली राइट एड हियर इट इज बिकज दिस इज कनेक्टेड थ्रो ए गियर सो उ हेव टू राइट फिफ्टीन इंटू द गियर रेसिओ डेट इज जिरो पॉइंट वन एंड द एफिशियसि अफ दिस गियर बक्स गियर इज नाइन्टी पार्सेंट डेट इज जिरो पॉइंट नाइन आई हेव एक्सप्लेन अल दिस इन माइ प्रिभिया भिडिओ प्लस नाउ फर दिस लोड we have to write f v by omega m square divided by the efficiency now we oh sorry there should not be square here square is present only in the moment of inertia term here we know the efficiency we also know the v velocity v what we don't know is the force f now For for force F on this load, we will get that F is equal to m times z. That is, m is the mass of this load. That is, five hundred kilogram times the z. That is nine point eight meter per second square. Okay. Now, if we substitute all this value here, we will get that ten plus fifteen into zero point one divided by zero point nine plus Force that is five hundred into nine point eight efficiency, which is given as ninety percent, zero point nine into v by omega m that is pi by fifty pi. Now, if we solve this, we will get that this will be equal to one twenty point fifty six newton meter. This is the solution of the problem. I hope you have liked the video. Do share it among your friends. Thank you.